scenic Mount Washington Valley, New Hampshire. For generations, skiing enthusiasts have flocked here for the varied terrain, spectacular vistas, and festive apres ski scene. Today, with seven alpine resorts and six cross-country centers, skiing continues to play an integral role in Mount Washington Valley's culture and economy. Here, the industry is snow. Mount Washington Valley is no stranger to deep natural snowfall. Some of its resorts can see over 200 inches of snow in a season. But Mother Nature is fickle and never makes promises. So the ski industry has taken matters into its own hands. Right now we're, we're about uh, 10 or 11 degrees out. I'm going to go ahead and uh, fire the fan up. Press her up. Snowmaking has come a long way in recent years with new technology that is more powerful and more efficient. Today's operations are a study in science, from hydraulics to meteorology. Add in the latest grooming methods and technology, and you have the recipe for a consistently great ski experience throughout the winter, every winter. Sometimes on a sunny day, when there's no snow in your own backyard, it can be hard to believe there's a man-made blizzard raging in the high country. So we're taking you now behind the scenes at Mount Washington Valley Ski Resorts for a close-up look at Snowmaking 101. Three, two, one. How does it work? And how good is that man-made snow compared to natural? We ask the experts, New England's television meteorologists and the unsung heroes of winter, the snowmakers and operations managers at Mount Washington Valley Resorts. The process that goes into it, um, the science behind it, that, that's, that's what amazes me and how much, I think what, uh, what Tom was saying, how much you can make it like nature, like real snow, how much the science has advanced in the last 10, 15 years that you can really make true snow. It's a lot of people say you hear the man-made versus uh, natural snow, oh it's not as good, but you know, being here today, seeing the snow and seeing the type of snow that they can make man-made, uh, the common person on the street, it would be tough to, to tell the difference. The basic ingredients are simple. We've got two pipes going up the mountain. One of them is filled with water and one of them is filled with compressed air. The air and the water are mixing in the gun and what you see flowing out is, a, is, a, is that mixture. It hits that cold air and that's what we know is man-made snow. These, these uh, large amounts of snow crystals coming out. The challenge of snowmaking starts with getting these ingredients to the mountain. It's no coincidence that the resorts that have flourished in the snowmaking era are those that have access to plentiful water. Down on the lake we have uh, low pressure, high volume pumps. They bring the water from the lake up to here and then these four pumps boost the water up around the mountain. And the trails, we have like a network of, of uh, lines around the mountain, almost like capillaries. So, and that's what we feed all the trails with. At full capacity, Shawnee Peak can pump 3,200 to 3,600 gallons of water per minute. The more terrain you need to cover, the more water you need to pump. But we'll pump anywhere from 150 to 200 million gallons in one season. It takes about 180,000 uh, gallons to make one acre uh, a foot deep of snow. So you can see where you, you, there's, a, you know, there's, there's a lot of water right now in front of us here in, 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 in the form of snow. Now remember that water, we're just renting that water. Springtime will come, snow will melt, and that, that water will go right back into the watershed. While powerful pumps deliver the water to the hydrants scattered around the mountain, snowmakers rely on old-fashioned legwork for completing its journey to the snow guns. We use these barrels to protect all the snowmake equipment from skiing hazards. Not only that, but it gives a visual for the snowmakers to find them. Yeah. And it's not so much digging out as you can see how far down we are right now. There you go, huh? We got water. 